hello friends so welcome to another tutorial series so in this tutorial series we are going to learn about jetpack compose a new library for creating beautiful looking uis in android so we will see that how we can create some good looking uis uh, with relatively less lines of code than uh, like we create the uis in xml and then we have to create write uh, the equivalent Java code for attaching the views with the data so we will see that how we can reduce those efforts and we'll see that how Jetpack Compose actually helps us in accelerating our development time and by reducing the line of codes so let's get started so first of all we will need to create a new project for that I am going to start my Android Studio um, so one more thing guys uh, for this tutorial series I'm using the canary build of Android studio which is the you can say the beta version of Android studio because it is actually highly compatible with uh, jetpack compose itself so I'm going to use 4.2 canary 10 build for this project so let's get started so first of all like usually we'll create a new project so just uh, go to this create new project wizard and you can see over this um, wizard section that there is a new template called as empty compose activity so this is uh, with a banner of preview because this is currently in alpha stage so just select this click on next and here you will uh, set up the name of the application like I am setting compose playground so here you can change the package name location and uh, for using jetpack compose uh, kotlin is a mandate language so you cannot change it to java and also the min sdk version is 20, uh, api level 21 and you cannot go beyond this version so just select that version and click on finish and uh, wait for your project to be get created and all the builds should be completed so um, there are some new features also that I would like to tell you about uh, not about the Jetpack Compose but actually about Android Studio 4.2 can return uh, so as you can see this is the version I'm using so this version also features something called as uh, in IDE emulator I would say because here you don't need to open a new emulator window uh, but rather what you can do is you can have the emulator within your IDE so this is one of the amazing feature that I really loved about this new version of Android Studio so for running your emulator uh, you can simply press the play button or you can manually start the emulator from here so I'll simply select the emulator from here like this and click on the play button so uh, it will automatically start the emulator and also after the emulator gets started it will uh, run my application to the emulator so uh, I will wait for that to be start um, so it is saying that connecting to the emulator because emulator is currently being um, booted up so we'll have to wait for this time so as you can see that uh, the emulator display is visible and this is the part of IDE itself like you can see here a uh, emulator tab which you can use to minimize or open the emulator anytime and uh, by this you have a benefit like you can code here and you can simply run your application using a shortcut key like shift plus F10 so your application will automatically start with within this emulator and you can simply uh, see it side by side so this is a new and amazing feature so uh, this is a full-fledged emulator so nothing like uh, just a part of emulator but no this is a full-fledged emulator with all the things uh, all the applications available Google Play Store is also available uh, which you can access everything is available over here so yeah so now getting back to jetpack compose so like um, this is the basic uh, screen which you will get uh, after your project is successfully created and here you can see that this is a main activity basically the first activity of your project as you can see in the android manifest this is the first activity of your project from here so here you can see that there is a big difference um, 
between the old thing and this jetpack compose uh, that uh, in the set content function you uh, are not required to pass a xml layout file anymore so here you can directly um, pass or you can say you can directly set up your widgets i would say i am calling these as widgets because uh, it sounds and like um, you are very much familiar with the term widgets because in Android uh, you can say everything every UI part is a widget itself so I'm calling everything as widgets like a text field is a widget a list is a widget so I'm calling I or you can say I'm referring everything as a widget okay so you can pass the widgets directly in the set content method and we'll learn more about these widgets in the next video so I'm keeping this video a little bit small so this is be, uh, just just an explanatory video about Jetpack Compose and some of the features of Android Studio 4.2 Canary 10. So we'll learn about Jetpack Compose uh, and all of these functions and uh, what uh, all this package means in the next video. So stay tuned. We'll see you in next video. Bye bye.